I am back with another episode of House to Home series. When we moved into our new home, I know one thing had to happen. A space to myself, a closet slash office space. And it happened to be the smallest room in our home but well lit and airy where we have this big glass sliding doors which opens to a large balcony too much light bouncing into an office space can be uncomfortable while working with laptops but on the other hand i'll be doing a lot of photography and filming in this room so i decided to go with a moody bright look we already had this ikea packs wardrobe in one of the bedroom so we decided to make use of it in our office space. It came with a very basic interior organizers and I could see a lot of scratches on the doors. So it definitely needed a makeover. Started by removing the screws and the handles and I kept all the screws safe or I know I'll regret it later. When it comes to painting a piece of furniture, I always follow three steps. Prep prime and paint started prepping the door by filling the holes left by the door handles and a light sanding because ikea furniture comes with this glossy finish which makes it harder for the paint to adhere to so a light sanding will give the primer and the paint to hold on to something it's also very important to clean it with a degreaser so that it will take away any dust or dirt or any oily substances holding onto the door and this is how we are moving on to priming the surface. Once the door is completely dried, I started priming the door with a multi-purpose primer called Fresh Start from Benjamin Moore. A primer can ensure better adhesion of paint to the surface. It can increase the paint durability and it can provide additional protection for the material being painted. So I highly recommend priming a piece of furniture before starting with the paint. And once it's dry, I'm lightly sanding over the primer for the paint to adhere. I usually buy gallons of paint only after getting a sample tin and really trying it on the wall where it's going to be. But the moment I saw the color card for this color called Midnight from Benjamin Moore, I know this is the one and that is one of the best choices I made for this room. I started painting over the edges with a small brush where the roller can't reach and continued with a roller for the rest of the areas. It will take two to three coats of paint for a full coverage. Don't try to roll over the same area again and again to get that perfect look at once, even though it's so much tempting to do so. And this is how a first coat of paint is gonna look like, but it's gonna look so good with the second coat. Although the paint may feel dry to touch soon after applying the first coat, wait until the paint has had enough time to cure fully before applying the second coat. I started with my second coat of paint only after 6 hours. I could feel the paint gliding over the surface at this stage leaving a very smooth eggshell finish. Eggshell finish is a light shiny finish which I highly recommend for furnitures which will help to reflect the light and easy to wipe when it comes to cleaning. Oftentimes, the hardest part of any makeover is waiting for the paint to dry. After you have spent time and elbow grease on a great project, it's tough to remain patient and let the paint dry fully before putting the item to use. I went through the very same process with the other two doors as well and I'm letting it dry for two days and let it cure before I put it back to the wardrobe. In the meantime, we are going to work on the panel detailing and the floating shelf. This is where my office table is going to be. Since it's a narrow space, it looks way more taller than it really is. 
So to break the wall, I decided to go for a panel detailing and a floating shelf which is also functional and aesthetically pleasing. We used this plaster of Paris panels over wood for the detailing and saved a lot of money and still achieved that very same look. We started by marking the reference lines just above the eye level for the paneling with the help of a laser leveler. Drilled holes on the panels and subsequently made holes on the walls as well. And there is our first panel successfully screwed into the wall. The panel we got is all comes with a standard size of 1 meter in length. This needs trimming to fit into the space. So we measured the length on the wall and carefully trimmed it with a hand saw. Then screwed it to the wall as we did with the first one and continued doing the same with the rest of the panels. Once we were done with screwing all the panels, I filled the screw holes and the gaps between the panels with a filler. Then sanded it down once it get dried for a smooth finish. Now we need to add a floating shelf over here and for that we have this lac wall shelf from IKEA. We are going to measure this out and cut this long one into that size. IKEA wall shelves are mostly made up of particle boards and honeycomb structured filling. So we are taking our time to cut it down carefully or else you are more likely to chip the top finish layer of the shelf. It seems we need to trim a bit more to fit into the space, but the good thing is you can reduce the length anytime, but not if we cut short at the first place itself. So it's okay and hopefully we are done this time. So we are drilling holes for the hidden suspension brackets for the floating shelf before painting the walls. So in case the plaster of Paris panels crack, we can replace it now without much mess. We did a great job together, the panels are intact and now we can move on to painting the walls. Like we clean our face before applying makeup, walls should be cleaned well before painting. And once the walls are dry, it's time to roll the rollers. Also remove switch and outlet covers for a clean line. We tried paint samples of Simbly White and White Dove on the walls. Finalized to go with Simbly White since it's bright yet warm enough to compensate the moody and cooler color gonna happen on the lower part of the walls. Always and always paint from top to bottom. Started by painting the edges and corners with a brush then moved on to the rollers. I really wish I had this vamp speed to finish the work. Once the first coat of paint was completely dried, I went on with the second coat. After making sure the white paint is completely cured, I moved on to the lower part of the walls. Use this painter's tape for a clean line and trust me, it's worth it. And I couldn't resist the excitement of how the painted doors will look on the wardrobe. So now you can see it in my room. And 
and this is how the first cut of paint looks like. While I was waiting for the walls to get dry, I painted the wall shelf following the same steps as I did with the doors, prep, prime and paint. Simultaneously did the second cut of paint on the walls as well as the lac shelf and let it completely cure for two days. Then I screwed the brackets to the wall. And here is the moment I was eagerly waiting for. And it came out exactly how I envisioned it. And peeling this tape away is so much satisfying. Let's come back to the wardrobe again. IKEA Pack's wardrobes come with these holes and I punch this cover into every single one of it. Approximately 700 of this. Yeah, let's take a moment to appreciate my patience. But it definitely made a huge difference in the appearance as you see. See who finally decided to show her face. Coming to the hardware and the final touch, I got this knob from... <laughs> Oh, you're so clingy. I got this note with gold and marble detailing from Sara Home to break that masculine look happening with all the blue colors. It's pretty feminine and it finished the look. items delivered for my room yeah this is my office chair oh my god I love it few more items there so in the next episode you'll be seeing how I'm gonna can you see the amount of light coming in so in the next episode you'll be seeing how I'm gonna tackle this tricky side of my office and yeah this is an indoor jasmine it smells amazing I got it as a gift from my husband for Women's Day Okay, so let me know in the comment section how do you feel about my office room so far and give me a thumbs up because that is so much motivating and please do subscribe if you haven't yet because of course I need a lot more subscribers. So we'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>